The next video is the next instalment for the world's greatest ghost and we're up to the Lonely Lighthouse. On the night the Eileen Moore Lighthouse went dark, two sailors on the brigantine Fairwind saw a strange sight. Cutting diagonally across their bow, a long boat with a huddle of men aboard was bearing toward the lighthouse on the rocky Flannan Islands off the west coast of Scotland. <coughs> <coughs> The sailors called, but there was no answer. The boatmen wore foul weather gear, and when moonlight slashed through a rift in the clouds, their faces shone like bone. One of the would-be rescuers testified later, Our first thought was that they were floating dead from some shipwreck, but then we heard the oar locks and saw the movement of their arms. Later on the, that night of December 15, 1900, a squall broke. Without the Guardian light, ships were in dire peril. There was one angry question from the skippers. Why was the lighthouse dark? On the day after Christmas, the supply vessel Hesperus hove to off the islands to investigate. When there was no answer to repeated signals, crewmen set out in a small boat to the landing dock. Tying up, they were chilled by the strange silence. The lighthouse had been staffed by three men, but no one was there. To welcome the Hesperus. There were no signs of violence and the larders were well stocked. Lamps were all trimmed and ready, the beds made, the dishes and kitchen utensils shining. As the searchers climbed through the empty lighthouse they found only two things that struck them as unusual. On the stairway and in the cubby hole office where the log was kept, there were shreds of a seaweed unknown to them. There were no oil skins or sea boots in the building, which seemed to imply that all three men had left the lighthouse together. No lighthouse keeper had ever been known to abandon his post, even in the worst weather, and this was a point repeatedly made during the inquiry which followed, an inquiry which was hushed to silence by the reading of the logbook by keeper, kept by keeper Thomas Marshall. December 12. Gale north by northwest, sea lashed to fury. Never seen such a storm, waves very high, tearing at lighthouse, everything ship-shaped. James Ducat irritable, and later that day, storm still raging, wind steady, storm bound, cannot go out, ship passing sounding foghorn, could see lights of cabins, Ducat quiet, Donald MacArthur crying. December 13, storm continued through night, wind shifted west by north, Ducat quiet, MacArthur praying, and later, noon, grey daylight, me, Ducat and Arthur, MacArthur prayed. Inexplicably, there was no entry for December 14. The final line in the log, final line in the log read December 15, 1 p.m. Storm ended, sea calm, God is over all. No explanation could be offered but that the men had been seeing visions. While the log entries had reported gales lashing the Flannan Island Isles, there had been none at all 20 miles away on the island of Lewis. Locals pointed to an even more mysterious cause of the disappearance of the lighthouse men. For centuries, the Flannan Isles had been haunted. Hebridean farmers might sail there during daylight to check on their sheep, but few except the foolish Sassanax at the lighthouse dared stay overnight. Final proof, if the locals needed any, was the evidence of the sailors of the Fairwind, of the long boat crowded with ghosts. And that ends that installment of the world's greatest ghosts.